some Aldous Hux Huxley utopia. The Shire. Well, it's a bit like hay, really. Uh, you could probably roll around in the hills, make friends with some hobbits. Probably the Wizarding World from Harry Potter. I feel like it's it would be a really fun place to be with, and there's kind of all kind of new things to discover. As I'm here for Ben McIntyre, SAS Rogue Heroes. Imagine myself as a superhero. <laughs> instead of keep going to the doctors every bloody five minutes. Now I want to be um, the witches in uh, Discworld. I'm one of the witches. I'm definitely Granny Weatherwax. <laughs> well, the thing is, um, it's been quite a job getting to, into this real land, and I don't really fancy going anywhere else. Uh, I think I'm quite happy. Uh, with England, um, possibly with Europe rather than without. That's uh, an easy one. I would love to ride myself into my condor right before the storm hits. That's what I would like to be, watching the angel of history looking down upon us. It would be I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith, which remains to me one of the shining joys of my youth. The heroine is such a tortured soul who's so sensitive and creative, but actually overcomes so many challenges and emerges from the book so much wiser, older, but also optimistic. And that's a great way to live your life. Elizabethan England, and it sounds ridiculous, but I always wanted to know what it was like there in uh, the Cotswolds, that sounds so English and Brexit and awful. Yes, I'd like to have written myself into a sort of jester's costume in a court in Elizabethan times. Let me think of a better one. <laughs> well, I suppose it's a bit obvious because in the 1980s I did uh, film in this particular land, and that's the land of P.G. Woodhouse. Uh, Evelyn Moore, who's another favourite writer, said that it was Eden before the fall. It's a world of total innocence and charm and just delightful. Everything's better. The motor cars are better. The cocktail shakers are better. The, uh, the, the boys and girls are prettier. The, the, but it's innocent. It's fantastically innocent. A bed is not used for anything other than hiding under. It's a, it's a paradise kind of world. It's innocent, but it's so funny as well. And that's a rare mixture.